Is Trina there? Trina! World, are y'all ready? You know what's up when this sound begin. We about to go in. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ain't never seen no show like this. Cracking jokes and singing, we won't miss. 5150 up in this bitch. Yeah, you ain't never seen a show like this. Ghetto folks gon' be all in their bliss Trying to make you laugh until you kiss yeah. Cause you ain't never seen no show like this Yeah 5150-2022 It's on I'm about to say some real things Rip the mic and bring the pain you ain't never seen no show like this <laughs> hey man. Oh, you got them on sale yet, D? They're, they're going up right now. They're going up right now. You better order, goddammit. Oh my god. Oh. Your mic. They can hear me because I be yelling through y'all, motherfucker. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> What up, everybody? Damn. I don't even know where the motherfucking start with this one, <laughs> goddammit, since I just <sighs> jump shit off, goddammit. Wait a minute. <laughs> Honestly, I got on my Barney outfit. <laughs> I got my Barney outfit on. Marcus got on his motherfucking Yeah, they sent each other a memo that I didn't get. It's purple and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Wish I knew. Wish I knew. At least I kind of got the nails. What up, fifty one fifty? Goddamn it, fifty one fifty nation. The whole motherfucking country saw us last week. As my commentary, that is um, sometimes chopped down by the haters, was interesting enough where a lot of people wanted to hear it because it was the truth. You know, it's like. I, I don't really want to start the show off talking about this, but I'm going to say this. Get See, when things went bad at my show, it was a whole bunch of bust of motherfuckers telling me how, oh, you fucked up, Corey. It's over for you. Nigga, did you see how many people watched that video last week? And you still going to tell me I don't know what the fuck I'm doing? Nigga, the truth is priceless, motherfuckers. So all you motherfuckers who motherfucker talk shit about how I do and what I do, that truth still be working for me. With no Hollywood, no nothing, just a nigga talking shit on YouTube. Even YouTube be hating on me. We gonna make it where you gotta be at least 18 to see your shit, okay? The fuck can I do, motherfucker? You really don't want nobody seeing my shit at all. Corey looked like mystery flavor now and later. Mm. Yeah, this is how they look. Mystery <laughs> flavor now and later. <laughs> I ain't think of that one. That was a good one. I got to say what's up to this motherfucker. This motherfucker sent $5150 at about 6 o'clock this evening, nigga. I said, well, shit, let me shout this motherfucker out. 
This motherfucker, uh, RLW Transportation CEO sent you 5150. Bring me a 3XT Flint. Because yeah. I'll be in Flint, Michigan yeah. this week. Yeah. Man, don't have me travel with these T's and y'all motherfuckers be acting funny. I know Flint cold as hell. I ain't, but wait, I ain't taking a bath out there. You're not taking these, are you? Because I'm going to post all month. Yeah. No. <laughs> you okay, good. You're not taking Also, the, um, okay, I'm going to be in uh, um, New York, a part of New York. Um, it's, uh, God damn. I don't know why I'm Rock, blanking. Rochester. Rochester, New there York. Rochester and Flint, shit. Me, Ricky Smiley, gonna come out there and flip that bitch. They got the young lady, uh, B. Simone on there, goddamn, you know. I'm gonna tear the motherfucker up. I'm here to tell you right now. My man Laugh Love traveling with us, goddamn it. Oh, yeah, I saw he's on that. Yeah. Um. Yeah, man, shit. The game don't stop when it comes to this uh, Grammys um, debacle. Yes, Wait, you mean the, the Oscars? You talking about the Grammys? I mean the movie? Oscar debacle. Okay, <laughs> oh, like, I apologize. The young okay. lady don't know how toxic she is. I'm talking about Jada Pickett Smith. Oh man. I love it when they don't even realize they toxic. They just say things. She said she wishes me Will Smith didn't slap Chris Rock. I'm not a woman who needs protected. <laughs> ah, ah, man, ah. Hey, man. Y'all can counsel y'all arguments. Anybody that been defending her? Y'all about, after that? Y'all arguments dead. Let's go over it one more time. She said, um, um, my, I wish he didn't slap Chris Rock. I'm not a woman who needs protected. But you had every moment to stop that to try and grab him or anything even after the fact when the man returned from doing that instead you clapped you laughed and you didn't reach out you didn't do anything he, she never went to console the man you had other men doing that she, almost like she didn't move at all i i i'm i'm I, uh. and she ain't say nothing she ain't say nothing uh to defend him publicly she ain't she ain't even say she didn't say right. She didn't say congratulations for winning your uh for your award, husband. Nothing. <laughs> she said nothing. But the first thing she did was what is very predictable of the average bitch. She separated from him. I wish he didn't slap Chris Rock. That shouldn't be the first thing you say. She, just, she my man was a little overzealous when it came to taking up for me. None of that. Mm. I wish he didn't slap Chris Rock. True. I'm not a woman who needs protecting. The truth is you're not a woman who deserves protection. The things you done pulled off. That's what you should have said. You don't need to be out here on nobody's shoulder walking with nobody. This whole Tupac thing has gone too far. Come on, man. Everybody who saw how Tupac was, why is she acting like Tupac would have been with her? Tupac would have been saying, look, bitch, you ain't got nothing else to offer but your funky ass. <laughs> why the wonder why they you call you like, bitch. Right, you wonder why they call you bitch? Have you ever heard Tupac's music? Tupac's would not, Tupac would not tolerate somebody like that on his shoulder. And you speak very high, very, uh, uh, how you say, you still speak about the rela so relationship, so-called relationship you had with the man. But there was plenty of time if they were to be together, it would have happened. The man, you know what I'm saying, since then. That was a long time ago when they were in college. So Did, did she say they never even had sex? Yeah, she's, That's what she said? You, she said he ain't never fuck her. She said he ain't never fuck her. That make it even worse. This bitch done ran with an imaginary story to her daughter. I, I saw that letter her daughter yeah. so-called wrote. I'm like, what a awful person. You poison your kid's mind with a man that, if Marcus is right, didn't even fuck you. Bitch, you claiming Tupac, you just name drop it. Tupac probably like, bitch, stop telling motherfuckers that I was your friend like that. <laughs> he hunting the house. Right. 
<laughs> God damn, what a, hey. oh my God, man. I can't believe the world really allows this stuff. Like I bet it's people who don't even see this. I wish he didn't slap Chris Rock. Mm. So it's his fault. I, I want, I and everybody's just forgetting about how she did him at the red table. Everybody's just letting that go. You humiliated me. I didn't man. let it go. When I saw it, I was like, she Will, was <laughs> it's going to cost about 60% of your money to get away from Jada. But it'll be worth every penny of it. And I know that ain't for me to say for real, but I'm just saying, nigga, you're going down. You a plane crashing. Just, just cut it off finally, my nigga. We hate to see. Just be with. Damn, I shouldn't even say this, but it need to be said. Uh, <laughs> don't, say don't say it then. If he thinks that, I'm be going. with a boy. What? We know it's out there, man. Be oh, with a boy. Now he come on now. Get you a boy. Get get Tyler oh, the Creator. God. You and your son and Tyler the Creator grow up as a family together. <laughs> I mean, come on, man. This is terrible. This is, you the only one that I'll give a pass for being that. I'll be like, he just needs somebody. <laughs> somebody who really got his back well, so why he could gotta be that? Anyway. know what it feel like to have a friend. He is a friend not, not of my ass I'll situation. Say not everybody's thinking the same thing as Corey. I'll tell you that right now. He's saying not everybody's thinking the same no, thing. No, I don't think that of, of Will at all. God, oh my damn, God. homie. How are you to... going to take up for this? The, the, the broad said, oh, I wish you didn't slap Chris Rock. I'm not a woman who needs protected. Now they claim. Little bitty bitch, too. Well, they claim, Little bitty motherfucker they claim that both don't team, They claim that both team or both of them agreed on that i don't know i uh, i it sounds to me she like it sounds that. to me like if if this is for real like what he just spoke about what was said by her sound like their their team did not come up with a good spin to me because it took them this long and that's what was released out because you know spin. they don't speak until till their spin team comes up comes up with something she's speaking like the man of the house that bitch, yeah, didn't no spin team can, come up with this. They, she, I, she, team she, they, well, they, came up with she this. She speak. This is a selfish statement when some man risks everything he had for your honor that you have not. You're not an honorable the first day she bro. posted, it's when terrible. she first day she posted was something about healing. <laughs> that was that was a yeah. the next right. that, that the, the next like day. Some, that sounded yeah. like some team shit. Yeah. A little post. It was that like a little like post some or something about time, like time for healing and I'm here for it or something yeah. like that. Yeah, now that's sucker shit. That's some shit that a sucker ass motherfucker who coming up with some nice shit to say or say. But I'm saying, I believe this is her voice. I'm not a woman who needs protecting. You know how little that lady is? Mm -mm. You need protection, ma'am. Man, you got to read the book, Cole. I know you're taller than Marcus, but you need protection. <laughs> it was great. You talking about his book? Yeah. It was, it was yeah, good. you got to read the book, man. You, that's how you, can, that's how you can really, that's how you really see how awful she is, man. Let me Hold tell you. On. He doesn't realize You I really think, think I need to read a book when what she said at Red, at Red Table Talk. That's true. You, you think I need to know anything that's more? That's true. You know what it did, though, Marcus, for me? No, I hear him. I hear where he's going. But you know what it did for me? Because remember, I was just speaking about it, how great and excellent the book was. Yes, it was is however i already assumed certain things about them and their relationship and all that that just validated it everything some of the stuff he said in there were like whoa the worst go thing ahead and admit that? may i ask what's great about the book can some can y'all tell me his climb okay hold on. It's, it I, was I a hell of a blessing first. what is it his climb the whole journey okay it's just phenomenal to hear it how it went it's amazing good well, for him way in regards to her and how horrible she is her, his, uh, her 40th birthday, he started planning her Told 40th birthday that, for years. three years. years. That's just one. Yeah, three yeah. years he planned her 40th birthday. He started at her 37th birthday. See, he, he, done went and back, he done went and got all her information from her grandparents or her, her, everybody in her family. Shit she never even seen or heard. He went all the way back to slavery. Got her favorite performance. Did a lot. Got, got, got Mary J. J. Blige. Blige. It was it? That was one of Mary J. Blige. Yeah, yep. Mary J. Blige to come to the, come down there. They went out the country. He brought about forty people out the country with him. 
had a little nice dinner, had to go to the, he playing something all week, you hear me? Had the presentation, everybody there crying. Oh my God. Make it's it so sound great. good. Oh my God. I wish my hand, my man was like this. I wish I could, oh, do they need a wife? They and them, you know what I mean? Everybody was there. People were there. They witnessed it. He goes, Get she ain't saying Harrison, nothing. She ain't saying nothing. She just said Matter of fact, they, he claimed, he said that they're noticing the attitude. He actually said that people noticed that she was On the way back to the room, she ain't saying nothing. It was a three-day event, by the way. Yeah. This is the first night. He come back, they get into the room. He like, he like, you all right? What's wrong? This motherfucker say, that was the worst. She didn't say the worst. <laughs> huh? She didn't say the worst. But she did, she did down it, and she just said. What the bitch say? She said, you know I don't like stuff like that, and I have told you that before. You don't ever do that. She said, she no, said that was the worst. Go ahead. What that say? was the worst display of ego I ever yeah, seen yeah, in my she life. she did. I didn't let you finish, but you're right. Yeah. He, <laughs> just this. I thought you meant the party. That was the biggest, <laughs> yeah, that was the biggest display of ego I ever seen in my life. They were celebrating her. He was, he was she celebrating. she said to cancel the rest. He did that thing. She said, cancel the rest of the week. I don't want to do nothing else. And it happened. And she did cancel the Every time he tried to do something big, she shitted on him. A great man. Every time he tried to, he was number one actor in the world. That man wanted, that man wanted a big house. Why you want to have a big house? But you're talking hmm? about all those things, yes. Yeah, right? I'm talking about no, 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 yeah. No, but listen, to me, the most devastating of it all is the marriage, period. Because he wanted to marry. He was excited. He wanted an elaborate wedding. He wanted. To, she didn't want none of that. She didn't even want to she get married. Say, right. She said she didn't believe in it. So at he, this point, Jada's not anyway, wrong. Yeah. Once you know what it is, you're responsible for everything That's that true. happens to you afterward. Brett Watson, all right. Mm. Hey, let me tell y'all, motherfucker, something. <laughs> this would. Yeah. I'm, this is what my nigga Gorgeous Dre told me. If you in a room and you don't see who the mark is, you the mark. Will is a mark. Oh, Corey, you bogus for saying that. No, nigga. How long are you going to let her? Yeah, you see, let me tell you something. Abuse in marriages is all day long. But how long are you going to let her publicly abuse you? That's what D.L. Hughley was saying. Mm. Y'all putting the shit from the house out in the street. True that. They, yeah. Mm. Mm. Man, listen to me, man. So this shit getting a lot of attention because it deserves to. We need to see how evil these bitches are. We need to see motherfuckers try to make excuse for these bitches. <laughs> Because it's funny. If you got common sense God gave you, you already know. We ain't making excuses for Will. I pity him. I do, too. That's a diss. When somebody say they pity you, that ain't good. Yeah. I feel sorry for I feel for sorry you. for Yeah, yeah. I feel sorry for the man. Yeah. The man tolerates this little bald head bitch who been bald head for years talking about the bitch said, the bitch was bragging on her bald head in one of the interviews. Talking about, I love my hair like this. Woo, woo, woo. Somebody make a joke about it. It's the end of the motherfucking world. Will Smith wants to lay in a bed of shit. He can lay in a bed of shit. He probably liked the shit. Maybe that pussy is wild. Maybe Jada, have you, we ain't giving Jada her credit. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, that pussy got to be fine. Maybe gotta that be. pussy is some shit that nigga can't live without. It definitely got to be fine. The booty of pussy in his life is his thing. <laughs> but I'm saying, Nick, uh. you can't go around slapping motherfuckers. Jada is not some woman who is just super fucked up and it's only her. First of all, we at the motherfucking Coin Academy, home of the Bowler Podcast. I just had to put that in there. But let me tell you all something. Jada is not some woman who stands on an island as evil. I'm so glad. We, I'm, I'm so glad I'm finna say this shit. And I know motherfuckers gonna see it. I don't know many women who are much different than Jada. 
most of the women I know act like that. Uh. I didn't say most women in the world. I say most of the women I know act like that. That's but true. I want to say, I want to say this: Who out there know a stand-up woman? You know a stand-up woman? Yeah. Who? Nigga, my mama. There you go. Okay. Good one, Marcus. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> go say they mama. You think I ain't fit to defend my mama nigga up here? Yeah, yeah, my Everybody mama. Everybody <laughs> go say they mama. Oh, right. my mama so sweet. My mama this, my mama that. Do you have the courage to motherfucker really look at your mama and see who she really is? Do she lead by emotion and jealousy? Thank you. What that thing smell like? Appreciate that. My mama actually don't. Thank you, Devin. Huh? My mama actually don't. I'm, I'm not arguing that. Yeah. I'm not arguing that, Marcus. You, you understand thinks, what I'm saying? Yeah, but I'm rapping. talking in general. Yeah. Motherfuckers really don't want to put their mama out there. But if you look at the shit your mama do when it ain't sweet, when it ain't all kind and nice. Your mama be on that bullshit too, don't she? I'm talking about the average motherfucker out there. Nigga, get the fuck out of here. Anthony Campbell, he says you would I know, I know motherfucking niggas who can't even Thanks, do shit for their wife mm. without their mama getting mad. I know niggas who can't do shit for their mama without their wife getting mad. That's, that's sad. Huh? You telling me I'm making this shit up? I'm talking about like, look, Thank this is some G me. shit right here. I, I don't give a fuck. I tell it. Tell it, Corey. My daughter told me about her boyfriend's mama and how she be jealous that he try to do shit for her. Wait a second. When she was younger? No, this is the last two, three years. My my daughter told me this. He, mama's boy, he this, that, and the other, and all this shit. And basically, act like the nigga was weak for his mama. My daughter tried to run that shit on me. <laughs> My daughter saw me with another woman and act a motherfucking fool with me. What? I didn't hear that one. Yeah, I ain't heard dude neither, Ooh. though. My daughter saw me with another woman and act a motherfucking fool. Her jealousy was boiling out of her. And you, I was looking at her like... You done talked to her recently? Huh? You done talked to her recently? Oh, you talking about some shit that happened a, while, a long time ago? No, this shit ain't no happen no shit no long time ago. Remember when we all went to eat? Yeah. <gasps> My daughter was so motherfucking sick. Oh, that's terrible. That somebody else was around me. This bitch couldn't hold it. She damn near lost her mind. What? I said, wow. Did she this say something? This bitch crazy like a mama. Did, Did she say something? She ain't say nothing. Oh, she just showed it. She just showed it. With her silence. But wait, oh, but you and, knew it. Nobody else really did. The bitch don't act like that with me normally. Right, but I'm saying nobody else when knew. When she you there, saw me you? with another woman, she almost busts wide open. You seen that thing on Big Trouble in Little China when that motherfucker, ah, then he busts wide open. Oh. I thought the bitch was going to bust wide open. Oh Ain't nobody going to say this about their people. Ooh. Ain't nobody gonna say this about their people. They gonna say, oh, my people, they good though. No, uh. I ain't saying you, Marcus. I'm saying the average motherfucker is not finna notice they own. But I watch women very closely when they in my presence. Uh. Most of them lead with jealousy. Most of them lead with jealousy. <laughs> Barbie said. What, what they say? <laughs> Back it up, Manel, just just a little bit, Miss Miss Barbie. 
Okay, let it go. There's Where's that? It's What's she up. say? It's coming up. Oh, he went past it. No, you went past it. You passed it. You go passed back the regular it. way. Go back down. Go back down. Go back down. Sorry, guys. Hold on. Miss Barbie, I try to run my stepmom off since I was three. She's still around and miserable. Well, yeah. No, nobody want to talk about their own motherfucking, mm. the women in their family. That I mean, because it's fucking fucked up men too. But I'm just saying, I love to observe the insanity of a bitch. Mm. Motherfucker ain't never did nothing to him. You don't even know the bitch. And you don't like her. But they always talking this get together as a woman shit Support one when another, somebody blah, get blah, blah, hurt blah. That, that's over true. a bitch. Yep, that, yeah, you're right. Bitches mm -hmm. ain't shit, nigga. I'm <laughs> telling you. I see it. I don't give a fuck who you are. If you conduct <laughs> yourself immorally, mm. I'm going to call you on your shit. I ain't talking about no random, like no motherfucker, like Jada is the only woman out here who fucked up. Where the bitches who got some sense at? If yo, look, how old is your son, D? 30, he just turned 30. Perfect age for this question. Mm -hmm. If your son came to you and he said, mama, where do I find a quality woman? What you gonna tell him, D? Uh, well, he just asked that. Well, not something like that, but he was, you know, because he's newly single, everybody. Um, you know, a good place to... He finally just started going back out with people. And I said, majority of the times, it comes from people either referring or recommending someone they know. Hopefully, they, it's close enough. They got kind of a, a zero in on somebody. That's a good place to start. It's always recommended like people will refer and say hey you know what i got a friend's daughter or a cousin or what have you and maybe i can make the connection but other than that all that all that meeting up at clubs and bars and stuff like that so that's the only way you're gonna find a good one. no i didn't say the only way but that's a good that that gets you a little closer to maybe a quality person because you're hoping that these people know no. the person well doesn't, I don't say it works all the time. I'm hope just is saying, a word that's cold-blooded out true. here, boy. That's true. Whenever you hoping, boy. And you remember you what I said? You motherfucking walking down the street remember, backwards with your asshole grease on it. Remember my favorite saying about hope? Hope is usually delayed disappointment. That's, I agree with that 1,000%. Marcus, mm. see, you still in your 30s. Mm -hmm. How old are you? 33. 33. Young man. But are you Young looking for brother. one quality woman? right now or are you just having fun because it's good it's okay to, to do that i don't is know it, what, what you ask him? i said are you looking for one quality woman to find right now or are you just enjoying everybody yourself? looking for a quality no, woman no, no. you said uh i said one a man who is hetero heterosexual would love to have a quality woman in his life well i but some want a few and just want to have fun at the moment not in well, a relationship that's what you're saying that's, that's what, you're what saying. i i know but yeah. i'm saying like Thanks, Bright Collective. You ain't gonna find a few quality women in your life. You're not going to find a few quality women in your life. It's not going to happen. Are you saying at a time? Or are you saying just- In your yeah. lifetime. Oh. You think you're gonna find three quality bitches? In his I lifetime? I think possible for three quality. Yeah, let me know you young. <laughs> I'm just depending on what in you, his okay, lifetime. Bright what you collective, define, thanks guess, for the video. I guess, I guess it depends on what you define quality, though. Everybody's what's, what's, yeah, 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 it's relative. That's a relative definition. Okay, well, I'll tell you what it is. Okay. Do you think in your lifetime you will find three women, because that's a few, am I right? Yeah. yeah. That you could hold up in the air toward God and say thank you. Do you really think you will find three of them? Boy, if you find one of them, you beat the odds of fucking life. Because see, they train to teach you you ain't shit because you sleep with multiple women. I know niggas who build motherfucking communities, but they got multiple women, so they look like, they looked at like they ain't shit in this society. They looked at like they ain't shit. I'm not 
defending having multiple women or nothing. But I'm telling you, most men get a bad rap because they have more than one woman. And we could talk about how that's going to happen if, if you want to. But I'm saying, look back at the women you've been around your whole life. Are you telling me you got three women you done met that's worth a shit? You said I think I got lifetime. at least two of my men that are worth, that are worth a shit. You Boy, you beat the motherfucking game. You're yeah, talking about up to now got two or his entire life. Off, the, off the head. I think I got at least two. I done ran across, definitely done ran across worse terrible vision, but I think I done ran across at least two qualities. I fucked it up, but you know what I mean? What you do? What you do? Uh, see, I know you. And I don't see you go around doing scandalous shit. Yeah. If I saw you going around doing scandalous shit, it would make me motherfucking feel weird about being around you. Yeah. Now, wait a second. What did you do to fuck it up? Uh, what when I was younger. See? Yeah, I used, what is that? When I was younger. What you do? Oh, I, man, there's one. She was, she was, she was kind of like a, she wasn't no regular. Dagla, you know what I mean? I, I treated her like that. I snapped on her ass one day. What did day. you do? I talked bad to her. I got drunk. I, I talked crazy to her. When I used to get drunk, I used to, I used to be I used to be mean in the motherfucker. And when you're and, young, and, you and probably so, don't know anything about apologizing. Yeah, and I wouldn't I, I wouldn't apologize oh, for you shit. Were that kind, yeah. yeah, I was I was I was mm. like that. Janny J. Hedge so I need some real ones by me. I feel you, baby. So yeah, I fucked up some I fucked up some shit. Mm. You know what I mean? Just ego and and the alcohol really. And shit, the next day I'd be like, shit, I did it, I did it. I'd be like, shit, I did it, I did it. You used to I get drunk, drunk and talk crazy to bitch. Yeah. Well, I didn't know that, but look at Mark. Where you get that from? Uh-oh. Where I get it from? I'm mean, well, did you think it's something that you just naturally Probably my got? daddy. Yeah, your daddy? Mm-hmm. Your daddy? Mm-hmm. Probably my daddy. Okay. Don't do it. 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 Yeah. Man, look, trust me when I tell you this. You don't know how to find a quality woman, especially if you was raised by your mama alone. You don't know how to find your better half. You go out here and pick people you like and try to make it work with them. I'm talking about the average man. You like her. That's why you tolerating her. Or you in a situation like Will Smith where his fortune will be chopped down to a third if he lead that woman. Because she going to really show him she is enemy if he try to lead. Oh, boy. <laughs> no Vaseline if you try to leave her, boy. Even though you should, every penny is worth it to wake up and not have to be in no dramafied situation. But I'm talking about men out here with these evil ass hoes who think that they can hold them up in the air because it's somebody they love. No, nigga. You don't know how to find no motherfucking good woman and you came from a bitch. It's just, it's your mama. So you ain't gonna talk about your mama. It's taboo to talk about who your mama really is in the hood. You can't tell nobody your mama ain't shit. And also to add to all that too, on top of it, people people don't recognize certain types of abuses. They'll look at that and say, well, "That ain't abuse." Yes, it is. I mean, like what? Allowing, Do you give me an example? He's allowing it. I mean, to be, to be put on front street in front of the nation and be humiliated on, on her show. So, so who, oh, talking about him? Yeah. Oh, uh, Will. I mean, I don't think he realizes. He <laughs> realizes. Yeah, now. That's why he's not Chris. Yeah. Pent up. Pent up stuff. Yeah. But it ain't just what Jada do that is the example. First of all, let me say this. If I'm right, mm. Jada brought that boy in his house and gave him some pussy. Is that what happened? We don't know that. I don't that's, know. That's supposedly. Supposedly. Apparently, the guy Allegedly. just today made some response about, and he's talking more about in depth about their he relationship. He made another song. He made not only made another song. He just got a he just very lucrative book deal. Apparently. What? Yeah. 
It says right here, he just got a, 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 a book deal. To oh, be, well, to, he ain't finna tell the business. He ain't gonna tell everything. Though. It says that that's what he's probably He ain't gonna tell. Know. He fucked that boy, probably. He, he probably fucked Will. But he ain't gonna tell everything. Right, he probably did. He <laughs> was a family of <laughs> fuck. They, so, they ran the mm. train over. <laughs> but let me say this. Let me say this. Any woman who will bring a man in your home where you, this is, first of all, you built the shit up. And for black men, we don't get our mansions like Mr. Feinstein get his mansion. Most of them motherfuckers like Mr. Feinstein them inherit their money or they're put in inherit positions where they get to be millionaires. To live in Beverly Hills is nothing from them for them because they, they grew up off the back of slavery. I'm talking about what other races do. How they automatically, you don't compare a black man's money to a Caucasian man's money. A Caucasian man is put in positions in this country to get it just by showing up. So Will Smith, according to how it's been put out here, a nigga fucked your wife in your house, nigga. Do you know how devastating that is to the mentality of a nigga? You, a, a man, a black man who wife get fucked in his house will never be able to live that down. Mentally. I'm talking about to himself. He will always have regret and frustration toward that woman, Jada, if you fuck that boy in your house. Especially when you can't act like the credit card Ain't got enough room on it to go get a motherfucking motel late. You know what makes it worse? Yeah, we don't know. The you know what makes it like worse? That. You remember he was going through some shit. Who? Well, apparently that's what started. He was going it, through, right. Yeah, he was going through some shit. He's like his, he had lost his brother, and he was like needing he was, somebody to talk he was to help up. him out. He, yeah. he, mentally, he was fucked up. I know he mentally fucked up. You was talking about the book. I don't have to read the book. No, if no, you no, taking pictures book, with no. bitches, you fucking. And her kids, something wrong with you, nigga. That ain't how we do this shit out here in the streets. No, I'm saying he took a lot of losses at the, around that time. He was fucked up because he took a lot of losses, and he was, and it was like a trauma bond with her. She, she really took advantage of that man. Really? Yeah, that's what. That's what she do to take advantage of him? She, I mean, well, she, when somebody goes, she through, gave she, that nigga a lick. Well, yeah. she didn't take advantage of him at all. That nigga came up. We didn't know that nigga. I know the nigga. All the younger yeah, people yeah, did. Yeah, he was yeah, out there, yeah. He already had yeah, music out. You know what? I cannot. I can't. <laughs> Hold on. So you used to listen to the nigga music? Yeah, he had a few tracks. He had a few tracks for, for yeah. Oh, I was out singing. I love this shit. I'm smoking and I'm drinking. Sing it, I love Marcus. this shit. I'm going to keep on trying it because I love this bitch. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Well, congratulations. I didn't know He's nothing about the He's younger than us, nigga. Corey. He listens right. to that stuff. We don't, don't we? I didn't know the nigga. Good luck to the nigga. But she did not take advantage of him at all. She mm. gave him a lick. I she gave that you. nigga a big lick. I remember the press and some shit. I, I, I think that most- Who ain't depressed? Also, I think them were going to the hospital and shit, though. Yo outfit let me know you depressed. You know I cannot. <laughs> man, you better stop. You, better. you think D ain't depressed? Look at D. No, not. <laughs> I am not. <laughs> well, he damn near on suicide watch, bro. I swear oh, to God. <laughs> oh, yeah. You see how slow feel walk? That's a sign of depression. <laughs> oh, Whenever niggas walk slow for no reason. Yeah, that nigga, uh, that not that they're a pain or not that they're Oh, my God. <laughs> He's too much, this guy. He is funny. We all <laughs> depressed. You like Look at my outfit. He wants yeah, company so bad. Press, 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 <laughs> on, nigga. No. You see what I'm saying? Uh -uh. You th I'm depressed? Oh I'm majorly my depressed. God. That is but space I, jam. I ain't lying. That's real. Space Jam suit. Yeah, yeah, he dressed like he's uh, 28. That's Space yeah, Jam he, he warm depressed. up. <laughs> that nigga still living in the past. Look at him. <laughs> you see, I, I ain't know. arguing with you. I cannot. That nigga been dressing like a young uh, nigga for, uh, for two years now. God. He tried to get his youth back. It's gone, Cole. He's not even 30. I believe it. God, he's 20, <laughs> just turned 29. Who? That August Alcina guy. Really? Yeah, he's only 29. 
Oh, this nigga in here with a Sibity Sam outfit. You better go tell Jada you, you feel it. You Talking need somebody shit. to talk to. Uh, uh, oh, no. boy Jada? Oh, mm-hmm. boy, boy Jada. What? She get it? She ain't fucking with no headstrong niggas like me. Uh oh. Boy, I'm fucking around get hold of Jada. Oh. Boy. Jada. What you gonna do? What? Man, I'll wet Jada ass out. And he don't wanna get married. What? And he don't wanna get married. He'll just be. Hell, no. Jada ain't finna change her motherfucker. She probably had to put some voodoo on me. She probably, that's what she probably did. She probably put that blood in them boys' spaghetti. Blood in spaghetti? Yeah, that yeah that's that, that, that old school blood stuff. Spaghetti. That's that New Orleans shit. Is yeah. that, probably, I think she got some folk from New Orleans. She probably did that shit to him. She, she done fucked them boys up. Mm-hmm. Oh, she done did. You ain't telling me shit. Cause that boy still making songs about it. She done did something to them boys. That's his hustle now. She done did something what to them Boogie boys. Boogie J Baby said. What happened, Boogie J Baby? What J Baby We missed it. Back it up just a little bit. Okay, if you choose a woman unlike your mama, your actions say who your mama is. If a dog sleeps with a cat, the cat, wait a minute, the no. dog knows his mama tried to kill him mentally and physically. What? That's what, it, what, what oh. I'm saying, like, think yeah. about this. Thanks for the donation, <laughs> Boogie. Most black men don't choose nobody who look like they mama. No, not necessarily look. I don't think he even meant that. No, but D, look, I'm black. Maybe the treatment, maybe the it. act. All them pro athletes got white hoes. 70% of them got white hoes. Uh, now, once they made it whatever, or they looked like they were becoming something. What that know, mean, though? Them, exactly. So, just, somebody them, say, I got on an L.A. gear track suit. Fuck y'all niggas. Them niggas just wanted to see what the other side would like, man. They what? They just wanted to see what the other side was like. I don't understand. They didn't knock it down and have kids. No, and stuff. They, man, listen, man. Niggas get to a point where they feel like wealth is white. It's, they feel like that's equivalent. You claiming the look of it all? Like in other words, I'm. I'm yeah, like like they they, they they certify that they got a white woman. Mm. Niggas be brainwashed. Ooh, excuse me. Hmm. Real? Yeah. Real? Yeah. I mean, I'm saying like. It ain't for me to stand on it like be solid about who the fuck and what the fuck, who love each other, who don't love each other. But I'm just saying, man, these niggas and they little beige babies, that's what they motherfucking really want. They don't want little black babies. They yeah. want little beige babies to be at the club dancing and drinking out the bottle. That's what niggas want, especially when they get some money. I don't want to be me. I want a beige baby. I'm going to give me somebody who don't look like me and make a baby make a baby with him and try to run with that shit like that. That's what I see some all people, day long. Some people are so weak-minded, they grow up and see white see nothing but white people successful, so they they uh But let's hold on for a second, Marcus. Okay. The bitches from the hood I'm talking about a lot of them, 80% of them, don't be on shit. I'm talking about, I am, this is sad to say, but it's just the truth. Bitches from the hood be on some motherfucking talk to you like you stupid shit. They talk to you like you are a fucking idiot. Well, your upbringing. Upbringing is fu- if your upbringing is fucked up. I agree. I'll be so motherfucking mad when bitches walk up to me and be acting like they my friend. Last night, I was at the improv. I love these improv stories. Were you there, Marcus? Yeah, it's there. really chaotic. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Marcus saw as soon as I walked up. <laughs> well, how, well, how can it be so chaotic? What do you mean? <laughs> it's people who really think Oh, they go Corey. Let me him him up for 25, 30 minutes. <laughs> so they just what? They just ham you up? Marcus saw the shit last night. When I walked up, which one you want to say? Let's talk about the crazy bitch from Phoenix. <laughs> Uh-oh. This crazy bitch thought she was finna him me up, uh-huh. slow me down, stand in front of me. You try to get that beat last night, boy. <laughs> <laughs> what I had to tell the bitch? Are you stupid, Marcus? I just had the motherfucker. Did, did you see what I said? Yeah. 
<laughs> you said something like, I don't think this pussy. Oh, oh no. my, you did not. Slink was talking to me from Black Ooh. Jesus. Yeah. So tall the bitch was trying to still talk over Slink. I told her, I said, hold on, real niggas talking right here. What you say, Slink? <laughs> and she didn't back away with that, like the way. No, she, hell no. She didn't. Oh, uh, maybe it was a song. She sauce. was determined to get her video caught. She was on something. Oh, she At was the end of the that? night. Huh? She was videotaping? Yeah, she was videotaping. Oh. She got a video. It ain't just women, but I'm talking about the women first. Ladies first. It ain't just. Sorry, I'm sending out your pictures. Go ahead. It ain't just I'm her. I'm hearing. I'm motherfucking standing outside like I normally do. This funky, bad breath every time I see her <laughs> drunk comedian bitch who thinks she's special. Oh, God. Oh, no. Because she got a baby with the homie. <laughs> Hey, Corey, I want to do the 5150 show. I said, no, we ain't going to, I don't think that'll be a good idea. That bitch act like I said, bitch, get the fuck out of my face, basically. So you was being I, nice. She was like, I can't do your show. I said, no. <laughs> did, 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 did the bitch start tripping with me? Uh-oh, <laughs> what happened, Marcus? Come on. You was in the dog. You was like, you was like I'm, I'm, I, I think about it. I told, I, did I tell her I'd think about it? You said something like that, like you send her off. I told her I'd call her. No, yeah, but what I, Yeah, that's what you did. I call right, because I, I know the bitch from <laughs> comedy. That yeah, doesn't yeah. sound like a bad uh, no or I was going to call her because I didn't want to tell her in public, Funky bitch, you could never be around me. Ah, <laughs> shit, it went there, but it went there. No, I didn't oh, say that. Oh. But that's, that's, my phone call would have been sugar-coated that. Mm. Because I didn't want to put on blast in front of everybody. I mean, you see this shit. What? How many million motherfuckers saw this shit last week? Do you know how many niggas calling me <laughs> to come on this show? Plain clothes, you're killing me. <laughs> I'm talking about cutthroat motherfuckers. <laughs> I'm supposed to sit next to a motherfucker that I know ain't shit. Y'all done seen me fail at that experiment time and time again. What happened? I can't hide no fuck nigga up under me or no fuck bitch. I don't know why the bitches think you owe them something when you tell them no. Them bitches, they actually be shocked. She ain't the only one. That kind of sounds like a guy when you tell him kindly as you can that you're not either not interested or it's bad timing. I try to be a good dude. When people I tell when to girls a tell dude. a guy that, I hate when they go disrespect on you if you tell them that. You know what I'm saying? They uh, get disrespectful, yeah. you know what I'm saying? You don't do that. Like if you want to ask a girl out or you say something nice to her and she's, oh, thank you. Because a lot of people can't handle rejection. That's, that's terrible. They can't accept well, They can't accept rejection, but I'm here to tell you, I try to be nice, but bitch, don't stand up on me like I said something wrong to you. Mm. I, I remember, I said, yeah, I'll call you, I'll call you, woo, woo, woo. Because mm. I would have called him and been like, you know, I don't think that's a good idea or whatever. But she whatever. pressed it. Bitch, press me so in now the streets. So now what's the outcome? Is it a right no-go for she sure? She want her answer right there with everybody looking. Yeah. Bitch, get your bitch every time I see you, you drunk. Get your funky ass away from me, bitch. <laughs> I was That's just, how I really I, what I really want to I say. I was just gonna help her out and say maybe it's hard for her bitch, to get, get, oh, oh get near you to ask, but it seems get like the she fuck sees away you all from the time, me. So. Let me mm. tell you, all you motherfucking cutthroat motherfuckers, homie, I'm not finna have you around me, studying me, watching me. I done got my ass kicked for that. I done got my ass kicked for having motherfuckers who I knew wasn't shit around me. You think you finna bring your drunk ass, funky ass ways, sit up here with me, and I'ma smile it off. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. If you a ain't shit motherfucker, don't ask me to be up under me in no way, cause I'ma peep you. Especially entertainer motherfuckers. This one motherfucker. Corey, call me. Corey, call me. Corey, call me. I say, man, why don't you just text what you Last want? Last night? No, this oh. is over the weeks. <laughs> I said, text what you want, man, because I know what it is. Oh, well, I just got to, um, what the motherfucker say? Uh-oh. Motherfucker, uh -oh. you? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Verbatim. I Let's wanna see. Make sure, Hold no, on. See, I ain't going to put him out there. No, we don't need to know But I'll be is. like, man, y'all niggas is asking the wrong nigga yeah, shit like uh, that, man. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be nice. I think you said you got a, 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 a 
Hold on. Oh. Uh, the nigga say, you know, when I finally was like, what you want? Text what you want. Oh, my God. That I'd motherfucker like, say, oh, well, I got a national podcast yeah, coming yeah. up, and I just want a little game from you, player. That sucker shit, bitch ass nigga. I remember one day some garbage ass nigga said this to me. I got a movie and I was gonna put you in it and woo woo woo. <laughs> but since you, you were acting bitch like ass <laughs> nigga, you ain't got no movie. You bust ass motherfucking nigga. You ain't never been on shit in entertainment. Oh, you did Star Search, nigga. Marcus was in a dick set. When Star Search came out. Oh, I was going to say, what? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Woo. Woo. Oh, okay, my bad. He was I didn't know where egg. he was going. He wasn't even here yet. He wasn't born yet. Oh, okay. Man, if you don't get these goof-ass niggas the fuck away from oh, me, man. Oh, my God. Now you ain't going to put me on your movie. Now I can't be on your podcast. Nigga, I don't give a fuck about nothing you got going on. You gonna give it to me because I deserve it, nigga. You ain't gonna give it to me because I played your game. Uh -huh. I don't give a fuck, nigga. So all you motherfuckers who you know, you know you an ain't shit motherfucker. Man, stop trying to be sitting next to me, dog. I'm uncomfortable. When I'm on the road, I pay for my feature act because I don't want a nigga from that city around me. Oh, he's not from here then, obviously. I'm saying like whoever I use is somebody oh. I know. Mm -hmm. I can't be, I can't work a comedy weekend and it's just a motherfucking nigga that I don't motherfucking know sitting next to me looking at me. So what y'all doing after this? Not fucking with you, <laughs> nigga. I don't know you, nigga. I'm OG, nigga. I ain't finna be in the streets with no motherfucking nigga. I don't know. Has you lost your mind? What that nigga said, that nigga, some nigga when we was in Mississippi. When they got the club in Mississippi, motherfucker, that nigga say, woo, 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 finna go over here to this thing. Cause he was trying to shake us. He was talking to her. The homegirl who was with her was like, oh, we wanna go. That nigga say, y'all don't know me. You don't need to be going nowhere with Ooh, me. Oh, he's spoken. <laughs> but yep. he wasn't talking shit. He was nope. trying to give us some game. Yeah, right, he right. already did it in the in That the, nigga's in like, the... you don't know me. You don't need to be going nowhere with me. Right. Niggas is killers. You don't know who niggas is, but because I got a podcast and they done seen certain motherfuckers come on here, niggas like, yeah, let me go and get on that. No, nigga, I can't have you up under me. You will bring your way. Your, your toxic ways will be sitting right here and next thing you know, when it go bad, you will be like, oh, well, Corey ain't want me up there because um, this, that, and the other. Not what they did, they'll be talking about what I did. Just like how Jada did Will. Mm. I, I told him, or I didn't want him to slap her. Niggas wow. ain't gonna stand on what they did. Oh, Corey ain't around me, man. I was wild around that nigga. I was doing crazy shit around that nigga. I ain't never heard no nigga say that. Ed nigga who it didn't work out with always act like something wrong with Corey. But still, motherfucking this week. Hey, hey, how many views that video get? Three million? Somebody said it went up to four. What? You guys last week? That's, what, somebody that snippet it? somebody put up. Okay. Niggas talk shit about Corey Holcomb. But they use that. But here go. Fuck, we'll say three. Three million motherfuckers laid their eyes on me. Laid their eyes on me. And Marcus, when we was talking that shit. Mm -hmm. Niggas, shut the fuck up. I know what the fuck I'm doing. Don't tell me about when I fall out with a motherfucker. Oh, Corey fucked up. Everybody be around Corey. Get the fuck away from him. Yup. Motherfucker ain't around me. It's because they don't want to be seen for who they are. Because if you around me, I'm going to call you on your shit. Mm. Even my, even, I, said, uh, even that episode doing pretty good on my page. Goddamn yeah. right. Of course, Marcus. My motherfucking lip partner got the podcast Aww. with his mom. <laughs> And that shit is doing better than you motherfuckers who've been doing comedy 30 oh, years. They try to come out with their version of a podcast. That was so Hey, y'all, what's up? This <laughs> my show. This the sucker nigga uh, hour. Uh, who? That was Man, sweet. Get your goof ass out of here, nigga. I can't have you around me. You'll bring me down. I'm tired of carrying niggas. So, I can't with this one. Now, some niggas, I know it'll work because they got some conversation. Right. They got some information, whatever, whatever. But I'm talking about all these drunk ass, hustle everybody, slick ass niggas. 
Homie, I'm uncomfortable with you around me. I show you love when I see you because that's who I am. But don't press me. Little ugly bitch from Atlanta. Don't press me. Oh. <laughs> Get your, yo, man, bitch. I mean, one day that bitch burped while she was talking to me. I said, boy, this bitch breath stank like a motherfucker. I ain't saying no names. It's thousands of bitches that ain't shit in Atlanta. But if you want to claim it, go ahead. Mm. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> I'm just saying. It ain't just, but it ain't just us. It's bad. Let me tell you something, man. Niggas think this is supposed to be a zoo where everybody come up here and be seen by my audience and they try to run with their shit after that. I just got to get up under Corey and, and smile with Corey for a couple of months. Then I can start my own shit. Nigga, I don't want you around me. See is me there in the anybody streets. That, any, that you would like to see come back? Anybody? I, I know you, I have one. I, what? Say that again. Uh, is there anybody that you would like to have come back? Like whether a guest, not permanent, but just like as our, our you guest. You asked me if somebody do I want to come back. No, out something. of the people, are there what, who are there people that you would Whoever like? Whoever the be? fuck ain't here, ain't here because they don't want to be here. I haven't told no motherfucker that they couldn't. They couldn't be around me. One motherfucker, I told them they got to do something if they're going to be around me, and I was rejected by that motherfucker. That motherfucker was like, I ain't doing shit. I'm like, well, we can't do it. But other than that, all the motherfuckers who not around me don't want to be around me. I wonder why. Hmm. I'm talking about anybody who not here. I ain't told motherfuckers to kick rocks. Hmm. Our motherfucker was patient with everybody because I know I'm not perfect. I'm not perfect. I ain't perfect. I know that, but I'm just saying, man. Motherfucker, look. This, this, this. We talked this shit up here. I didn't have motherfuckers get mad at me because I said something they didn't like. Uh. <laughs> I tell them. I wouldn't even talk about them, but they felt See? guilty about the shit I said. Exactly. A lot of people. That's so funny. They, if the shoe fits, fuck it you, happens Corey, all the time. I ain't gonna be around you no more. It's like, I ain't what? motherfucker. I don't give a fuck. You. I know. The show don't stop, nigga. Oh my I God. promise you, I'm the spark plug. Mm. This shit rolling because this shit I talk, nigga. So, mm. motherfucker, all, I'm ta mainly talking to these niggas who was on there talking about, yeah, it's over for you, bruh. Bitch, nigga, you still watching me today. What's wrong with you? I'm the nigga you love to hate, boy. <laughs> I'm the new Ice Cube in this And don't post anything then. Don't post anything that has to do with him. Name or uh, visual. I told, him, I told him like on last week. It's, you know it's what I'm like saying? like a university, man. It was fit like a university. Some niggas graduate. Some niggas drop out. Some right. niggas get kicked out of school. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> some niggas just come back on campus, you know what I mean? After they graduate and fuck around. But I ain't did nothing to nobody. I done blessed motherfucker. That's true. I motherfucker got some notoriety from this shit, and I put niggas on where a lot of motherfuckers know him that didn't know him at first. And I didn't have motherfuckers tell me flat out, nigga, fuck you, you ain't do this right. <laughs> wow, all right, fuck it. <laughs> so I'm just saying. You definitely got me notoriety. I, 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 when you see me standing in front of the motherfucking improv on motherfucking Monday nights, be a real nigga and say what up. And I'm always, I'm always treat you good, nigga. I ain't gonna never be no funny acting motherfucker. I ain't built like that. But when you get depressing me, mm. and you're in a conversation with someone, you were talking to Sling. Oh man, that's that crazy. Just though. That bitch be doing crazy shit that's all the time. But she'll say. Uh -huh. The bitch be like, I love you. Oh, she's a fan. The bitch, lick oh, my ass well, from the back in front of everybody <laughs> as a demonstration oh, no. of it. Oh. Bitch, you don't love me. If she's a fan, she just might. Or <laughs> watch out now. Oh, hell no. Nah. These motherfuckers. <laughs> but I ain't worried about the women as much. <laughs> well, it's the freaky, groupy boy. niggas. Freaky. Yeah, they're pretty. Yeah. I be scared they're of. They're pretty pushy. Always talking about getting his ass licked. That nigga that freaky. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> that nigga that freaky. And that's what I say. Okay. Watch out. What I if she really it. wants to do it? Yes, see? I'm a freak. <laughs> Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Toast my salad. Oh, what? my God. Ooh, Corey, a pervert. Oh, not the bunghole. <laughs> nigga, I stand on mine. <laughs> I done did all kind of freaky shit with a bra, nigga. I love pussy, nigga. Get up with a bra. Ain't no telling what the Thank fuck I do when I'm with a bitch by herself. <laughs>
Nail is a brother who is a principal. Uh-oh, here we but go. But I knew he done ate some weird shit oh, off of Oh, I don't want to have that. No. I see the happiness in his eyes. Not, not the thought. Not the, I like Abe's new haircut. Oh, let me see Abe's new haircut. Look at that. It's pretty killer. Abe got the motherfucker. <laughs> I like it. I think got a school shooter haircut. Oh, <laughs> you're so you stupid. That was good, Nick. No, I like it though. You can do Somebody that when say you bring back the like. girl with the small book. Oh, oh my God, that is mean. <laughs> Man, that bitch and me and be motherfucking in court. Well, who is that? Was I him? You wasn't no. around. Okay. It was a bitch who had a little pamphlet talking about it's a book. <laughs> I was like, bitch, that ain't no book. That's the shit you read for your driving license bigger than that, bitch. This bitch had the nerve to call a pamphlet a book. I said, bitch, you done lost your mind. That ain't no book. That's all she could think of, of course. Whenever I used to go to Zoe's show, I used to get into it with them bitches because this one bitch said, I'm Dr. So-and-so. I was like, what? You a doctor? Not on the Dre style. This is a straight bust down bitch, too. Oh. Claiming doctor. I couldn't help it. I used to be like, you a doctor? <laughs> Man, oh, them bitches used to hate me. I know Zoe, when they used call to, <laughs> Zoe used to try to motherfucking uh, referee the shit. Oh, poor like, Zoe. Uh, Corey is, uh, <laughs> I used to be laughing. Zoe used to try to referee the shit. Hey, man, it was, a, it was a, even the white dude on Zoe's show didn't like me. Oh, that's right. I white remember dude. that. You said that. <laughs> he had some holes in his head. Uh-oh. I didn't know what that was. But why did you have to point it out? I didn't point it out. So I, what happened? Well, I pointed it out. To one day, Bob, Bobby was there that day. I was like, what is them holes in his head? You asked on air? No, I didn't ask. It's oh, just thank when, God. He, when he Oof. said something about me, I had to bite my tongue off. Not to call him, nigga, your head is holy. <laughs> holy than a choir room. He had the golf ball head? I don't know what that shit is. What is that shit when people be, when Caucasian people had them holes in their head? Like, it looked like he was dying or some shit. I was like, why is it a hole in the top of his that's head? That's a form of alopecia. Of uh, that, that's alopecia? That's a form of it. I know. Is that nigga like head? What you mean like holes? You mean like bloody hole. hole. Oh, ooh. It was a few of them. Oh. And it wasn't no bumps. It was one was at the very top of his head. No, that's something else. Like, that's like scabies or something. That nigga had brain surgery. That's scabies or something. I don't know. Bless his heart. That nigga was popping firecrackers on top of his head, nigga. <laughs> but yeah, I used to have a ball going on Zoe's show. I ain't the easiest motherfucker to get along with, but it ain't because I'm picking on you. It's if you lie. I remember what's, it's a website where this man created for cheaters. What is the name of the website for cheaters, D? I don't puzzles? know. But I loved that show, though. I like that you show. Know. It's pretty entertaining. You know about the website for cheetahs? No, I don't. It has to be cheetahs. What is the name of the, I mean, I no, don't know. it's some shit. Like, well, when you get did. to cheat on your bitch. Oh, you're talking about Ash two. You didn't, you weren't very clear. I think clear. that's it, Ashley Madison. Ashley Madison, you weren't clear on that. So cheater. Zoe had the dude from Ashley Madison. The creator, the owner. On the yeah, phone. he sure did. Oh, I thought he was in person. He was on the phone. He was on the had phone. Had on the phone? Yeah, and he was talking all astute like he knew everything. I was like, have you ever fucked a man? And that motherfucker was like, uh, 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 who, who, uh, hold on, who you talking about? The, the uh, creator and owner of Ashley Madison, the oh, website, okay, okay. that huge Cause I heard the twitch in his voice. I was like, have you ever fucked a man? Yeah. And that motherfucker, I could tell he wasn't ready for that. That motherfucker was up there stuck. That motherfucker, <laughs> so he didn't outright go. Oh, was over what are there you beside him. He was right, he probably was, was in the bed. Right there. Probably was in the <laughs> bed naked with him. Nick. <laughs> one more God picture, Nyle. I ain't gonna one last photo. I ain't gonna motherfucking. I ain't trying to fuck with you, but if you talking that shit in front of me, my mind get to working, and I was like, hold on, man, what the fuck he say? <laughs> that motherfucker, <laughs> nigga. All right, motherfucker. If you say so, motherfucker. I say, I remember that. I ain't lying, Emma. Shit. Oh my God. It was a nigga on the show. Now, I ain't trying to talk shit about this nigga because he a man. He conducted himself like a man. But his name was the Ninchama or whatever the fuck. This nigga say he make a bitch come without even touching her. Oh, I remember you guys talking about that. 
You a bad motherfucker then. Oh, right, that on. nigga is the shit. He a bad oh, motherfucker. Lord. That nigga, that nigga say he'll make a bitch come without touching her. What do you say? There was some bitch who used to be on the phone with Zoe, like some, she said supposed it happened to be a to real her. smart bitch. He was like, he made me come on the phone. I say, bitch, because you had that thing down there while you was talking to him. Oh, was, oh yeah, she was playing with us. Right. Oh, that's different. I, I'm trying to. I think I'm thinking this nigga's just saying he's just saying some shit, and she's like, "Oh shit, my shit moving." All right, did he tell you? He tell you how, tell you? Uh, how he to tell do you, it. Did he tell you what he do? What he do? No, I, I thought he was. I thought he was explaining it on the show. I thought that was the whole purpose. We'll get in touch with Zoe and be like, "Zoe, can we get in touch with the Nchama and ask him?" <laughs> that is real name. How you make these? Yeah, how you make these bitches come without touching? I believe it's possible. You you remember your boy? Your boy said he did it. Oh. The hypnotizer? Yeah, Lenny said he made a bitch come. Yeah. And I touch yeah, remember Lenny said it? Lenny said he used hypnotism. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He ain't touch him. <laughs> it ain't hard to hypnotize some of these bitches. Woo! <laughs> 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 I be hypnotizing bitches and I ain't never even heard some shit. <laughs> you be hypnotizing like this. Two hundred. <laughs> gas, <laughs> gas money. Gas, fill your tank. <laughs> ah, All right, so we gonna go ahead okay, last and get started Niall, with the go. sucker okay, shit. Oh, you brat. Um, Oops. What happened? We good with that over there? Sending him one last photo. Yep. Oh. <laughs> no, it's okay. Go ahead. Anyway, so Ooh. right now we are going to get into the shit. It's called D's Loose Talk, Talk About, about Bullshit. bullshit. We didn't have this last week. Let's see what you got, D. Oh, thank you so much. Appreciate it, you guys. So, as we know, Another award ceremony passed this weekend. The 64th annual Grammys took place this past Sunday in Las Vegas at the Grand Garden Arena inside the MGM Hotel. And all I really want to talk about is Silk Sonic. I'm ex super excited about it. I've, I've been in love with that album since they dropped it. They won. Um, they did what is called a clean sweep by winning all four categories they were nominated for. So the duo of... Bruno Mars, I sent you guys the picture. Bruno Mars and Anderson Pock, they took home awards for best R&B performance, best R&B song, song of the year, and record of the year. Also, their performance of the song 777, which is my favorite, one of my favorites. There's so many on that entire album. Um, they performed at the opening of the show, and that was excellent, of course. Uh, what the but, fuck that nigga Anderson Park got on? That nigga's stupid. He's silly, look. And, 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 and if you see... That nigga's wait, stupid for that. Wait, <laughs> and when you see when they got up there, he was shaking it like this. He, he got the same wig on that, um, what's his name had on in, um, the, What's the, Love Got To Do With say, It? He he had, yeah. His personality shines through when he's singing. I be laughing you, on that one song. He be like, woo, 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 woo. I be like, this nigga stupid. They're both so great. I love yeah. them. Put that wig on to you. About to beat a bitch. I, they both. I congratulations. Boy, that shit to them funny as hell, Edison. I just saw that. Ah, that nigga stupid. And he was swinging it. He was doing like hey, this. Well, you know who Anderson Park is? What? I know him from because the Silk Sonic music. album. That's true, because that's a good but album. But I didn't know, yeah. I didn't know how talented he was. Wait, but whoa, I, whoa, 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 whoa. He how just said, What's Silk Sonic? Now we're in shock. Now I'm in shock. What's Silk Sonic? He just well, listened to know about Algis Alcina. You know about Algis Alcina, but you don't know about, and, about Aldous, or Silk Sonic. Who the hell is Silk Sonic? It's Bruno Mars and Anderson Pox album. Oh, man. They're together. They collabed on the album. I Oh, they the got, entire they album is fire. The Hedgehog or something. They got a lot of cool got tunes on there. On. He said he thought I was talking about Sonic <laughs> Hey, man, hey, Anderson Pot look like, uh, what's the dude from Boys to the Hood? Uh, what's the actor uh, uh, who was swinging at the air? Oh, Cuba Gooden Jr. He looked like Cuba Gooden Jr. Oh, Gunjur. my right God. There. With his mouth oh, shaped up that like that. I was so you my Anderson Paxton. I did. Yeah. I'm mad. Yeah. So he did. Eyes. I thought this was what you were talking about today. Hey, boy, that motherfucker's stupid, man. I, I love, love motherfuckers who know how to bring their personality out yeah. with, they, with what they doing. 
He's silly when he be singing, too. He be saying some cold shit. And huge congratulations, because they did not. Nobody expected them to take all four. They won all four. It was incredible. So Good for them. Congratulations. Also, congratulations to Jasmine Sullivan, who, to me... Oh, boy, looked like Sammy Davis Jr. on the albino side of the game Shut right there. Uh, you talking about Bruno? <laughs> Bruno looked like right. Sammy Davis right there. Stop! Stop! Mammy. It's your boy. It's your boy. It's your boy. It's your boy. And, if, and if he saw the follow through of the whole that, that whole like, moment right there, he did. He had the honestly, cigarette. So when he turned around, nigga, he's like, Meh. yeah. That nigga You're gonna like T.I. with a jerk curl wig. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Anyway, not to take away from Jasmine no, no, Sullivan, no. who I, since being a, a fan since her beginning, has been overlooked for the longest time, but she's finally being recognized as she should. So um, congratulations to her. She got best R&B, Jasmine Sullivan. Okay. But here's she go hard. I like her. I love her, but you know, you probably just aware of her latest album. But the woman's been out for many no, years. No, I, okay, I good, because she's uh, she's I got, amazing. I got a chick that love her, man. And, and then somebody she, said, somebody, somebody put Culture Vulture up there. Um, what is um, what is um, talking about Bruno? Yeah, what is, what is what? Bruno? Yeah, that boy, some everything I think. Okay, what is Pop? Anderson Pat. I, 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 I don't know. Think, I have I think to look it up. I was just gonna say that's he's a, mixed, that's a black he? man. Yeah, yeah, he's mixed. So you what happened the to the one drop? Guy? Yeah, what happened to that? Hold I don't on. know. Niggas don't be knowing what they talk about. They think everybody. Likes anyway, so while you're looking at that, um, I'm gonna continue on to save on some time. Also, um, shame on the um, whoever does their research on the memorial segment of it. Shame on them. Even though the performance now during the memorial segment, a memoriam segment, was touching. They messed up big time by not only not mentioning Kango from UTFO, but when they put up a photo of what was supposed to be Jesse D of the Force MDs, who we love, they put up a photo of Trisco, who passed away back in 2016 from the group. Um, so we'd like to give a proper photo and memorial for them both. And there they are. So rest in peace, Kango and Jesse D of the Force MDs. But when they did the memorial, they, the memoriam at the Grammys, they didn't, they left out Kango entirely and they put up a wrong picture of the <clears throat> member from UTFO. So. I, met, I met Kango one time. I still got his number in my phone. Look at that I, sad. I put it down. Good it's dude, Kango dude, from just UTFO. good people. Yep. Yeah. Good, good, good people. Thing. I heard of Force MDs. Oh, you'll Kango hear all that. It's these, timeless. These motherfuckers, they, but if they you used listen, to be the shit. Yeah, okay. but if you listen like, to their albums, on the radio. Timeless. Yeah. Kango I from UTFO. Oh, Tinder. and she said, so? I said, so? Baby, Tinder. don't you know? I can sing, rap, dance, and just oh, one yo, because I'm Kango. Mr. Sophisticated. Oh, that's as far as I know, ain't nobody great. Yeah. You get it? These niggas was wrong. You dressed like you was in the music video. Boy, you look you would like, like the Force MDs too. They sing and rap. Yeah, I know yeah. them too. Okay, good. You oh, oh, look at you. Okay, so Marcus. You yes. look like you sell insurance to Lakers fans, nigga. You stupid. <laughs> but anyway, thanks to our boy Troy, Troy oh. Hughes. Oh, Bruno is uh, up in the east. He he gave me the proper pictures to put up. So thank you, Troy, because he. Troy, what up, nigga? He knows all of them, so he'll probably see you this weekend. No one that's in the East Coast, you have a show there. What is that Bru shit? Bruno with uh. What? Bruno is uh. Puerto Rican and Filipino. Is he? Oh, they said. Oh. Oh, oh, okay. So they didn't put black in there. They put remember, no black remember, in there. Remember, was you still there last week at the at the um comedy club when that girl, somebody asked her, what are you? She said, everything but Mexican. I said, you Mexican. She said, oh, I have Mexican too. I said, bitch, you Wait, what? Everything but Mexican. You were there. This girl said she's um everything under the sun, but she didn't say Mexican. I said, you Mexican. She said, oh, I'm Mexican too. I'm like, bitch, you obviously Mexican. <laughs> yeah, I love it. I saw you crush that can and put it in your car. No, I'm just kidding. Shut your Hey, these are jokes. These are jokes. Joke, these are jokes. That's going to be on. That's going to be on uh, Entertainment Tonight if they ever have me on this. <laughs> well, what do you mean when you did that, Corey? What are you saying? <laughs> I didn't want to analyze everything, right. Uh, anyway, and um, anyway, so uh, in reuniting news, um, or, or we can also use uh, uh, reconciliation or, you know, getting back together kind of news, Monique and Lee Daniels seem to have mended things after their very long and ugly public Hollywood feud. Regarding what she said back in the day, of course, when she says that or claims that Daniels and many other big names had her blackballed from Hollywood. So after that, they all claimed that she was difficult to work with, and that's what started it all. Well, this past weekend, both put up the same sweet photo of them hugging. With, um, in the photo's description, it says, no caption needed. Um, and they, this comes after he made an appearance on stage with her. And that picture was actually taken 
at the moment that they had hugged. So it's, 50, it's, cents, 50 cents started this. Right. Tell him, yeah. Mark. That, yeah. He gonna make you apologize. Next that point. comes after he made an appearance <laughs> on stage. <laughs> anyway, he walked up and hugged her and said, I'm sorry for hurting you in any way that I did and continued with, Y'all, she was my best friend. Y'all think that Precious was just, and then it ended for a minute, and then he said, well, it was God working through both of us, and we're going to, excuse my language, we're going to fucking do it again. And he ended it with an I love you. He's referring so he doing Precious too? Wait. <laughs> now, please, please don't do Precious. No, 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 no. No, he's referring to. No, he, make call the baby no, daddy. He's referring yeah, to. Don't do Precious too, he, Don't do Precious. He, that would be a terrible family right there. He's referring to Monique now taking over Octavia Spencer's part in Daniel's next Netflix newest movie called Demon House. So, she already got the part because Octavia pulled out. Okay, Due to. Good. Due to well, conflicting. Congratulations um, on Monique getting any propers in the motherfucking game. Yeah. And I salute all you motherfuckers for whatever reason you're doing it. I don't care for motherfucking that's good. having that's a change good. of heart toward the sister and letting her get in the rotation of the motherfucking movie, um, TV show, and all that game. You dig what I'm saying? So good. That's a good move. And here goes another one. In the same weekend, it was just a lot of love happening out there. Another good reunion that happened over the weekend was Lil Wayne and T.I. They ended their spat, their long spat. So on Sunday night, that's the same night as the Grammys, at the Dreamville Festival in North Carolina, fans were able to not only witness just great performances, but also a very touching moment um, uh, for hip hop when, it, when they reunited. During Wayne's performance, he stopped and told the crowd, when I pulled up, I heard the motherfucking king on stage. Shout out to the motherfucking king, T.I. You already know what it is. And it was at that moment that T.I. walked out on stage with the crowd going wild as they embraced a hug. And Wayne ended it by saying, that's my real motherfucking brother right there. That's my motherfucking daughter's uncle. Y'all don't even understand. Um, now, that was supposedly their first interaction since 2016. What? I yep. didn't even know they was into it like yeah, that. Yeah, all over a disagreement about the Black Lives Matter and also how it was publicly presented. Oh. But good for them. Like I said, life's too short and so unpredictable for differences like that to end such a such a long, great friendship. So, so T.I. Anyway. Was, was rapping? He was on stage when <laughs> Wayne was pulling up to to do his show. Like he a, was rapping? All of them were rapping. stop rapping. Didn't he say that? Yeah, I, don't, I, th I think he's not doing mean? new stuff. No, doing, I, I, no, I thought he was, oh, I thought he was, recording. Okay. It don't music. matter what he said about stop yeah. rapping. If he was on stage rapping, he was, he was rapping. rapping. But yeah, the he man was at a sold a lot of albums rapping. Oh yeah. yeah. So motherfucker, also, Tiger Woods, stuff. Tiger Woods said he wasn't gonna be able to golf no more. He playing this weekend. That's true. Yeah. Woo, excited. Niggas did stand up together. That was a classy song right there. Alligator mouth and a hummingbird ass. Uh -oh, your go mouth writing checks that your ass can't cash. cash. Go 145 and out of your weight class. Well, you don't know about me, Cole. You don't know about me, Cole. You don't know about me, man. I'm a young OG out here. I can't, I can't. Look at this face. You look like a Baltimore Ravens undertaker. Oh, shit. purple you got on. And lastly, in other, in legal court news. One chat room froze. Go ahead. Uh-oh. Another tough lesson about uh, what you guys tweet now. Come on, be careful. So apparently, rapper Tony Lanez, uh, sloppy text, I guess, about Megan Stallion, man. They seem to have gotten him in more trouble. When he had a court hearing here in L.A. this morning, actually this morning, yeah. Ooh. Tor Tori Lanez, or... Tori Lanez? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I tried not to do that. Okay. We okay. all have fucked up a word before. <laughs> all right, it's a name. I didn't know that the nigga Spanish. Tony Lanez. It's, it's actually kind of flyer, my version. But. That's the nigga who shot it in the foot. Right, but thanks for the help. Allegedly, Corey. Yeah, thanks for the help. He gave her a waff. This a one, ass helping foot. with a word. Go ahead. That's that. I got a wet That's ass That's amazing. Foot. Anyway, so Tony Lanez. <laughs> Sloppy tweets about Megan Thee Stallion seem to have gotten him in more trouble. When he had a court hearing again, like I said, this morning, he was immediately handcuffed and taken into custody. The judge set his bail at 350000 and the prosecutors were requesting he be held without bail or even set the um, bail at $5 million, the prosecutor Why? said, because the judge thought that he was in violation of his no contact and no mention of her at all. But back in February... Um, they brought to light the prosecution that he posted a tweet 
that said, good dick had me fucking two best friends and I got caught. That's what I apologize for. It's sick how you spun it though. Now, the courts are saying that him using the, the actual you meant his reference to Megan. So be careful what you post, guys, because they're using that. They're saying that he actually what? was referring to her. Yeah. So Wait, I don't understand. What, what was said again? He put that, t that um, tweet out. He tweeted a uh, tweet, didn't say any names, but he said that. And when he referred to you, he said, uh, I have to apologize. It's sick how you spun it. Talking about her. So he was, apparently he was legally never supposed to bring her up. It is an ongoing case still. And they're claiming that that is, that is actually him talking about her. And actually using, he didn't even say Y-O-U. He used the capital letter U. And they're saying that they, when it was brought to their attention that that is part of when they say. They ain't, they ain't gonna be able to stick that. They just trying to stick it yeah, to that's him. Some okay. Bullshit, well, right? They ain't gonna be able to stick it. They just trying to stick it to well, him. He, I can tell him. I well, can he say posted that, that in February and when he had his court hearing today, they arrested him on the spot, so. Cause it's a hustle in that courtroom, boy. Mm -hmm. They like, you wanna hit the streets? This is what it called. This is it, so be careful. I wouldn't have messed with it at all. I wouldn't, anyway. So I don't know what's gonna happen with all that. It's an ongoing case. And the last thing, some good news, I suppose, I guess for those owing student loans, since Biden is set to extend the student loan repayment moratorium he set when he came into office, there's a good chance that it'll be paused until 2023. Won't find out for um, till probably later this week. Now it's just a pause. Um, it's not that they're forgiven what you owe. They're still putting it on pause that you don't, you don't have to make a payment. Say so you look like a purple cabbage. That's stupid. So folks will still owe. It'll hopefully give people time to get caught up after the pandemic crisis. Um, it sets so many people back. Um, all this is said to happen before it expires on May 1st. Um, if for some reason it doesn't go through, of course, you'll have to start making your student loan payments, which is uh, shit, um, pretty tough for a lot of people. Um, it initially was only supposed to go for six months when the pandemic hit, but they've been extending it over and over and over again until this this week, so we'll see what happens. Fingers crossed for you guys. Man, they supposed to forgive that shit, man. No, hell no, they're not forgiving shit. They're just they're Lying just putting brother. a pause on it, saying that you don't have to make any payments now. So, anyway, let's hope the best for those folks that need that time. Hey man, look, man, them motherfuckers gonna hustle the poor. You poor and you pay money to go to school. You took a loan to get this education we gave you. We want it back. You poor. That's terrible. What Danny Glover said in motherfucking color purple about that bitch. You black, you poor, you ugly. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> That's gonna be my rigor. That's gonna be my rigor. I'm, I'm gonna get that off that shit. That motherfucking Danny Glover told me, go ahead, you'll be back, you'll be back. You black, you poor, you ugly. <laughs> That's what he said in a movie. It was the most awful shit ever. <laughs> like, what, did, what did he say? Lies, I hear she got that nasty woman's disease. Oh my God, you sound Ain't just like her. kids got the same daddy. Man, I gotta put, I'm gonna like put this him. alarm in my phone to watch that damn movie. Man. I'm, I'm, the do, color purple. I'm gonna do a review on it. FYI, I thought that's why you wore that. Listen, real quick. Wait, have you seen New Jack City? Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. I was just gonna say I though because all the well shit. wait I was gonna say in case he didn't or anybody else out there in case you had not or you've never seen it on the big screen this weekend there's a little special thing happening can I talk about it? Of uh -oh. course you oh. can talk about it. Plug your people's shit. Only because there's Go a ahead, come on out the bag, I, D. What? My people is Mario Van Peoples. So you see, you guys Mario are thinking Van the wrong thing. Don't know you, Nick. Shut up, stupid. <laughs> anyway, he's jealous. Anyway, um, this weekend, if you're in L.A. Call a nigga if you know him. Shut up. If you're in L.A. this weekend and you want to see New Jack City on the big screen, they're having they're screening it at the American Cinematique. I trusted the, you, and you trusted a crackhead. <laughs> Who killed Pookie? <laughs> I killed Pookie. No, that's what so, Mario Van right. people said. So if you, if you want to see it, they still have tickets. It's only $13 a ticket, but the best thing of it all, not just seeing it on the big screen at the Regency in Westwood Saturday, but there's also a Q&A afterwards with Mario Van Peoples. So that's the director, in case you don't know. I think that's amazing. So we can't wait to see it. Yeah. Right. So I'm taking my son and about five others, because, of course, my kid never saw it up on the big screen. He was actually 
created during the filming of that movie. Down so he never got to see it, but me. we're excited. Yeah, that was a hell of a soundtrack. So, I'm And I'm going to take an original um, press <laughs> kit that I saved and an original... Um, You're going to talk D out of that motherfucker for $100. And <laughs> An original script. Like, I have a script. I'll take a hundred, okay? No, I have a script, and I'm going to have Mario sign it. Let so. me, is he, he going to take it from you? No, he's not. He can't. It's mine. I own it. I mean, I have it. It's in my possession. I have it. I'm going to bring all that you stuff. You should wear so. that outfit when you go up there, Corey, so you can be dressed for the turn. I wanted Corey to go. I invited him, but he's going to be out of town, so. <laughs> take your hat off, Mark. <laughs> I don't think I say. Oh, you say? Don't oh. worry. Mark Goods. I'm dreaming. <laughs> 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 uh, glass anyway. electric green. Woo, it's going to be nice. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, 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 look at uh, uh, all that fat moving. Look at <laughs> for the love of money. Oh, the, for the love of money was none of that, too, remember? Some jelly, nigga. <laughs> that was a great soundtrack. Anyway, if you're in LA, that'd be a great thing to check out. All right. That's all you got to do. Uh. All right. We ain't rapped in a while. I don't know if they got no beats. What time is it? What time is it? Now that's the time. They weren't on that soundtrack. <laughs> Ten o'clock. I don't know if we can motherfucker do these songs and shit, goddammit. I I need another nigga here. Mark is gonna hit that, that two oh, bars. That nigga ain't got faith in that. I told him I said, let's go. He's not gonna be there. He was like, you, fuck you, you ho. You yeah. remember, he's not going to be there, these people. You remember Dan in the B-16 last time. That's true, man. You, know you held it down, Marcus. I don't tell you, boy. I was been impressed. You've you been holding back. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you I don't did. hold it back on him. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to <laughs> tell him, boy. I don't know about these, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Y'all ain't shit. Y'all <laughs> motherfuckers rolled my jogging suit the whole show, nigga. <laughs> Oh, it's a two-piece. You don't. You guys know he's got the whole fit on. <laughs> I put up them motherfucking shoes, y'all motherfucking. A lot of these niggas don't know. Uh oh, put your only shoes up. Only motherfucking, only sneakerheads know what You know what you want to do it. No, put them, the them, shoe them, up. Them, them, them hard. I get, I get, I get credit with credit. Put them. the shoe like up. Let me hard. see. They were a little hard show too. It's it's the homie What's shoe. on the front tip? It looks kind of. Them the homie shoe. It's all, yeah. This the homie shoe. Uh -oh. right? You know your homeboy shoe. He was part of the Milwaukee Bucks last year. Oh. I ain't gonna say his name because only the real motherfucking ball. Only, it take it take a sneaker head to know. They got what a purple tint on them bitch. Look, look at the, look at the wing. Yeah, when but he don't. Like that, they, they probably funky. But he you be don't hold no. Your hand he like he, he spies. Spies. Yeah. Too late, D. Don't play that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Mark. <laughs> Y'all talk about me. What about D? God damn it. Oh, sit there. I have these jeans on. They're way too small. Oh yeah. D got them. Oh yeah. <laughs> they got them Chinese woman's shoes on. He's gonna be mad if I show people. He's gonna be mad if I show people the green machine. Yeah. Yes, don't show them the green machine. Them, I'll them, film another one. Asian hey, strippers wear them. What they got on? <laughs> I love my. Those are my Peg Bundys. I love them. <laughs> you don't know who Peg Bundy is. Some motherfucker know. He know these Tuckers. These motherfucker know these PJ Tuckers. <laughs> I was trying to see if y'all knew. Only motherfucking real Kenny Mo. He know they all know. Okay, Brandon know what Fresh. I be wearing. God damn it, nigga, that's shit. I'm gonna say Nike Your arthritis, Robocop. not my arthritis. No, these jeans are too tired. <laughs> anyway, so look, man, I want to tell y'all motherfuckers something, man. Everybody who been supporting the show for all these years, man, y'all motherfuckers is the reason them motherfuckers is looking stupid who was praying for our demise. Motherfuckers like, it's over, God damn it, Corey, you ain't shit. Man, all y'all motherfuckers who hold us down, we come in this motherfucking chat room. We talk shit, nigga. We talk shit. I, I really don't really want to regulate what motherfuckers say. Even though some <laughs> motherfuckers be trying to motherfucking jump it off. But I'm just saying, man, I appreciate every motherfucker who be on that bullshit. I, I'll never ask y'all too much for donations like that. But y'all motherfuckers who do be getting <laughs> donations, y'all make it where I can pay Nail the funky foot ass and Abe can go to <laughs> Bo Ricks and get another cut and shit. <laughs> What's that? Motherfucking, uh, I don't know what that is. Phil can buy some B12 so he can walk faster and shit. <laughs> that nigga Abe, <laughs> Abe got this Adam It's family. hard when you got shoes that <laughs> size that big. He got him haircut like he's part of the Adam family. Dude. Right. I like his haircut, <laughs> I like it Abe. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. <laughs> <laughs> they lost there. 
He oh, sleep. Oh, oh, I don't believe you. I ain't gonna fuck with him. I'm jealous. That's my motherfucking man up there. Mm-hmm. God damn it. This motherfucker. Go back now. I ain't oh, seen him. I ain't seen them. Once again, motherfuckers who don't know, this is the Coin Academy. Mm-hmm. The homie got this spot where motherfuckers can get a lot of shit done. He let us come here and do the thing, and I so do appreciate him for it. Very, yeah, very they got a podcast that is originated here. It's called a Baller Podcast. Thank you, Frazier Jr., for that motherfucking 1999, my nigga. I never thought you had 1999 where you look on that bitch. But nigga, I love for you for real, man. Somebody said I look like a retired breakdancer. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Oh. That is that 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 new age B-boy kind of look right there. All right. All right. Yeah. All right. On your way out outfit. <laughs> oh, you stupid. <laughs> Corey Wayman in planes after show. What? Oh, get that. <laughs> with the with the with the you know, oh, like, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> fuck y'all niggas man, man fuck y'all Turn, niggas bro. man <laughs> <laughs> one the twin powers activate i know what that Thank is oh yeah, yeah i know that too y'all know nothing about yeah, that yeah i do one the twin boy. powers activate them two them twin yeah, mj I, thanks for I, saying you love the show thing, my nigga yoda i see y'all niggas chief miller god damn it detroit weeds Ricky Washington, Brandon Press. I can't read that shit. It's going too fast. Real quick, where are you going to be at this weekend, Corey? Remind the folks. Hey, man, you all you come, people up you there, motherfucking. First of all. I got one. Hold on. I ain't going to lie. Y'all ain't going to want to hug me out there in Flint because I ain't even taking a bath in that water. Uh-oh. I'm riding. I'm going to stay you in Detroit and just dry to Flint. It's you only like an so hour So you're going to have half. all day on you. Yeah, okay. No, I, I, I can take a shower before the show and. After the show, I go back to Detroit where I know more easy hoes. I'll send it to you no, right now. Get you, get, you just gotta get you some uh, some water from the from the stove, and just pour it in, the, pour it on you, and, and wash your body. Pour it on. Yeah, get you get you get you about a twenty four pack of water, and just pour it on you. You come a bottle of water, get a twenty four pack. Yeah, and, and and take a bath. The gold <sighs> child, thanks for the nineteen ninety nine man. They still ain't got that water right, man. He, he's you don't never get scared. that water right, man. You think they, they don't buy they now? Got, they ain't got good water in motherfucking Little Rock. It's just y'all used to it. You a damn oh. liar. We got the springs, boy. We got the best water damn there in America. Did you say that you for think- real, nigga? You I sent it to you, Nail. Yeah, for you this. got that spring water. You better, boy, you better yeah. look it up. We known for the springs. Easter basket, Corey. I, I see you, boy. Hello from Texas, Corey. Much love, goddammit. I couldn't get your name for it, left the thing, but I showed you, I showed you, appreciate y'all, man, for y'all love. Patience, OG Bona 49. Wow, look at that with the cute Ak- thing. Bona. How, am I saying Ak- that wrong? Akbana, Ak- Bona, I don't know. Patience, Akbana, I love it, bro. You got it now? Thank you for the help, man. I appreciate you. Oh, okay, sorry. You. Babe. So we gonna wrap this shit up, man, this show this week, goddammit. Um, next week, we gonna have a very special, I ain't gonna even lie, man. I'm so looking forward to this shit, man. How many of y'all motherfuckers know Kendrick Lamont? Okay. One of his own boys gonna be up here. <laughs> <laughs> his babysitter, his babysitter. <laughs> that knew him way back when. I ain't did that joke in a while. Anyway. <laughs> you bullshit. Hey man, look here, man, I'm coming up. I got, I got, there it I, is. Got, I got, uh, Thanks, Niall. Or a on bucket. Friday, me and Ricky Smiley gonna be doing motherfucking, um, that's a good ad. What is the part of New York again? Rochester. Rochester, New York, god damn it. I and then me. on Saturday, we going wild. down to motherfucking, um, they in Flint, Michigan. Y'all motherfuckers better get your tickets because I heard in Kirk Rochester Valley, now, you Thomas. ain't got to show that shit no more. See, at one time you had to show that shit. New York was still trying to make motherfuckers and show now? that yeah. that shot shit. But I'm saying now you ain't got to show the shot shit. Shot shit redemption? Shot redemption. shit, yeah. <laughs> shot shit redemption. You ain't got to do that. Uh, Urca Valley, love it. Wow, you, bro. I showed I showed would have went to that Rochester man. I had me, got me a little Niagara Falls, you know. Oh, yeah, got yeah, got a little, up so, there? Oh. A little something in Niagara Falls oh. back in the gap, you know, when I used to drive them trucks out there. Tommy T's coming up in Buffalo. Yeah, I used to be out there in Buffalo, New York. Oh, really? Know, hey, we got to this. I'm going out there. I'm gonna be in motherfucking Albany, New York, for one day. I think that's on the 13th, the 14th through the 16th. We gonna be at Caroline's. I wanna go to that one, man. I wanna tell all the homies that know me, 
My green room is not to hang out in. Let me say it again. Mm. If you come up there and try to make your way to the back. They said Flint sold out. We gonna have to ask you to go somewhere else. My green room is not to talk to you when I get off stage. Hey man, how you doing? Listen, Thanks, I'm at work. Everybody who That's know true. about work, listen to me. Yeah. When I'm in motherfucking Carolines, which is New York City, which is where I have to come with it. Mm -hmm. Cause this is New York City. Them motherfuckers see comedians everywhere. I don't have time for you to sit in my green room, because we all know the green room in Caroline's is very little. Caroline's is such a fun place. I wish I was hey, going. If it, if it can make sense to you, man, I sure would love to come to New York, man. Oh, is hey, that man, right? You York, too, huh? If it makes sense. If it all makes I'm saying sense. that New York ain't no joke, boy. You and me yeah. both. Caroline's, them motherfucking niggas come see me. Yeah. I'm talking about That's a great place. motherfucking hood. So, yeah. and the rooms, man, everything expensive in New York. That's true. I New beat York. up, man. New York City, man. So, oh, y'all yeah. already know I'm going to get beat up by all my New York homies when they try to come <laughs> to the back room. And I'm going to have somebody right there saying, we don't want nobody in the back room. They're going to be like, who? Oh, my God, not me. It's no. me. <laughs> Corey, baby. <laughs> Yeah. It's me, baby. <laughs> you remember Eddie Murphy? Yeah. <laughs> no, that was, uh, what's his name, the nigga who played in Color Purple? Danny Glover, when Eddie Murphy was for the start, letting Jamie Foxx work with him. Uh, in the Color Purple? He said, it's me, baby. I knew you had since you was woo-woo-woo. Yeah, oh, Dream, Dream Girl. Girl. I ain't seen that. That's I'm just saying, one. I know what's going to happen, man. Niggas going to be mad at me, but I can't. I don't know what to tell you. I need that space. Don't come in the green room because I'm just, if you sneak past security, goddammit, we're going to have security as you to leave. Uh-oh. Whoever you are, I need that green room. That's why I love when I go up to my brother, um, Rob Stapleton. Rob Stapleton got a good room out there in New York. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And them motherfuckers make sure, man, you get a little place to chill out for the show. Mm -hmm. I love that shit. Homeboy said, if I do, just don't slap me. <laughs> no, I ain't, gonna, I, I ain't gonna slap you, Maybe mush. I ain't that really, kind of dude. Playing. But yo, yeah, give me a little space in that green room, no, all the niggas who feel entitled. Come through, bro. New York supports you for real. Oh, mm -hmm. shit, I got some people out there in New York. Why, Patience man? Agbana. That, that motherfucker, did he send some? Yes. Man, that motherfucker Andy, send some more. Why nice. love you for that, man? That's sweet. All right, y'all motherfuckers, get y'all motherfucking oh, shirts. Oh, the shirts, they're up. Let me see. Matter of fact, I'm going to see. Gonna you gonna watch do, that mic. You going to do the Bravery Club? Right here. Keep my wife's throat out the game, everybody. Wear this shirt to church. Oh, my God. What church and are you going to? And post the church you went to. It ain't got to be your church. You don't know them people. Fuck them shouting motherfuckers. If somebody send me a video where they in church, I'm talking about a church with at least 50 people in there. If you shout in this church, I'm gonna send you $300. What? We Is gotta that see fair? the yeah, we gotta have the we gotta have the proof. If though. I get a video of you shouting in church with this shirt, I'm gonna send you three hundred dollars. <laughs> what? <laughs> what church? Huh? I'm good, I'm good. The Holy Ghost. If I see him. <laughs> oh my God. Jesus come. Da, da, da. Da, da, da. Damn, it's still loading. Part. It's still loading, but we already have 11 orders. It's still loading. You got to yes, come so. in like this. Somebody say they'll be there on the 16th. That's right, Luke. I ain't got no Luke. shirts. Look at them goofy motherfuckers. That nigga said I got a shirt. Will name on it. Is Will name on nope, that shirt anyway? No, no, Will. Uh uh. Cartoon character of the, yeah, that moment. Look, look, we already got it. Look at, oh, wow. That ain't Will. That's the nigga who used to play for the Lakers. Who, big shot. Uh, <laughs> it's, this is Robert Ory, nigga. Thank you, Tyron Fuck Carter. Is he talking about? <laughs> oh, Jazz Chancellor, our guy. Corey Beard. That's Robert Ory. Thompson. Y'all be here. Mondrell Harrison, Davis, Darius Thomas, Thomas and Nico Licia. Wow, those are all, they all ordered already. Thank you. No, nah, I know motherfucker gonna fuck with that shirt, goddammit. That shirt's too disrespectful. 
Anyway, man, Gina T, love you too. God damn it, I'm Corey Hope. I'm 51, 50. We finna get up out this bitch. Oh, oh I thought what you What happened? What, you got oh, something to say? Yeah, I was gonna say to you know what I'm saying? Promote oh. your little puss ass shit, man. Hey, <laughs> I'm on my little show, man. Hey, hey. Yo, Marcus. You know what I'm saying? Mainstream, man, M-A-N-E-S-T-R-E-A-M, man. Tune in tomorrow, man, you know what I'm saying? At six o'clock, Pacific, you know what I mean? If you ain't seen the show, uh, the episode with Corey, Shit, we did it last. Oh, huh? I missed it. I'm about to look it up. Yeah. Tune in yeah. specifically. Mm. Pacific. Oh, oh, Pacific. Yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? We did it last week. That thing over about 70 some thousand and something. It's doing pretty good, you know what I'm saying? And you know, we growing and showing. I'm dropping a little they, I, I did a little book review. I did a book review on Will uh book. And they was they was rocking with that. That one now it, it did about forty some thousand nice. in a couple of days. You know what I'm saying? It's it's it's, it's rolling. Man, motherfuckers they, fuck with you, man, because you a motherfucking one hundred little motherfucker. There's the, uh, yeah. the website they, they, for the gear, you guys. Recognize they be when they see you on there with your mama. It's a beautiful thing, man. Yeah, it's a beautiful thing, man. Keep doing your shit. Eh? Yeah, man. Yeah. So they be want me to do movie and book reviews. Now. Louisiana, yeah. I don't know when I'm so, coming, yeah. homie. I, I want to come to Louisiana, man. There's so many brothers and sisters out there. I want to talk this shit in front of. Congratulations on Kansas for winning the motherfucking whole goddamn oh, NCAA. Thank you, not for sale. Yay. North Carolina, y'all overachieve. I'm proud of y'all, young boys. They said, where man. do they send the video? What's the motherfucking email? The same email. Nail just posted it all up. They just put it in the chat. They'll do it again, guys. So it's coming up. It's for the mm, appreciate it, man. That review was first amazing. Yeah, okay. It's for the video. It's for the video we pick of a motherfucker shouting the church. Oh, because so I got to see if it's a real church. So it, it could be. So it's, a, it's so it could be a few people, but you're gonna choose. Okay. I got my That's jacket true. from the Green Goblin. Fuck y'all, niggas. Come so he's Brooklyn. posting up the uh, the email and the store shop and all that. So. That's what's up, there man. There you go. Hey, did you get something you want to promote? God damn no, no, not this week. And then, Just that I already did earlier. The uh, the cinematique, the American cinematique thing for New Jack City. Yeah. yeah my Instagram, Yay. you know, Marcus too. <laughs> Come on, Marcus, that was quick. I love it. <laughs> All right, so look, y'all motherfuckers, we, hey man, I ain't gonna lie, man, I I, I got a buzz. From what? From what? We're jealous. You didn't share? They got them, they got them, uh, uh. That thing you gave me? And, and, and Are you green, serious? And Major Green got him drunk. Oh, bless his heart. He uh, gave me the outfit. same drink, and I'm not feeling a thing. <laughs> your tolerance for things going in your Shut mouth is stronger up. than mine, dude. <laughs> anyway. Oh, God. I didn't feel a thing. It was cute. It was a mule, some kind of Moscow mule. That's right. You got to fuck a mule for you to feel Shut something. Look here. You're gross. <laughs> That 51 was, motherfucking video in the motherfucking house. We about this bitch. Your father <laughs> fucked up. Fucking yeah. with you, nigga. She kept the wrong one. Is we out, nigga? Nigga, you thought you was gonna say something, nigga. You, 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 you sound like you, I don't want to know you say something. Hell no. I just want to touch Corey's hair. That's all I want to do. No, you don't. I do. I want to see if it's soft. You know, sticker bugs. You ever heard of that? Them sticker bugs back in the day? Marcus, don't make no hair jokes. <laughs> Can I touch Trust it? Trust me. Can I touch it, Corey? I don't care if you touch you, my hair. You ever, had, you ever grabbed a pine cone? Cock, look at it. Oh. Oh, it's soft about that damn hair. It's like velvet. Yeah. <laughs> Get off my head, dude. What, 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 that sound what? weird, didn't it? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. yeah. Not it's really, like, I'm just uh, playing. No, it's supposed to go What, what movie was fresh. that when dude was shooting at the hair on with uh, Wesley Snipes in it? Sugar Hill. Sugar Hill, boy, you got hair like Sugar Hill when that right. thing was with him going out. I lost my babies. <laughs> <laughs> That's my thing. Ooga! Ooga! Ooga. <laughs> <laughs> he say my hair like old boy on sugar hair. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> um, thanks, Mr. Hogan, for making me laugh. For sure, Ronald Gray, respect to you, brother. He said my fingers um, are about to get stuck. No. We better get the fuck up yeah. out. Wrap this shit up. Fuck y'all, nigga. Yeah. <laughs>